need to be good, you need to be a hard worker, but why not? I think my deeper motivation to study physics was really intellectual, like getting to know the equations that rule the universe, that rule the movement of the thing. Women are traditionally told that the very technical aspects of, of work are not for them. For example, when I studied in the high school, I was doing a Latin, Greek literature. It was lovely and I was good. Uh, but if uh, I hadn't had a math teacher who was uh, really good and shown me the nice, uh, the, uh, the fun part of, uh, of math, maybe I would have done something else. My feeling is that uh, the level of attention from female students is increasing in the recent few years. But I cannot report exact numbers, it's just a perception. I think the most important thing is uh, my family always uh, raised me in a way that I could, uh, I could do basically anything. My dad is an engineer. And I remember when I was little, I asked him to talk me about space and stars and how they work. And he always did it. And uh, he always showed me how fun this, uh, this part was. My dad started uh, architecture and he had uh, a lot of physics books. So I was, uh, even when I was very young, curious to, to look at those books and, and try to learn what they were saying. So I was feeling very attracted to this. There has been a growing interest from female candidates towards engineering positions. And I think it's good. And it's great to see that more and more we have a, a balance huh? between the, the two genders. I was working with a professor who asked me to do my graduation thesis with him. And he was working in a, um, in a research group in the electronics department who was developing this uh, nanosatellite. Starting there, I started to learn uh, this specific range, which is electronics for space, which has different requirements with respect to the general electronics. Then I found a job with Thales. Of course, I came to knew much better ESA. I, I, I managed to come here on missions sometime and people who was working here. Uh, and I also realized that, yes, in fact, I could apply. So I subscribed to the vacancy notices and then uh, I applied and all the formal processing went on. It's a very technical job, but it's not like I am closed in my closet and I do math. It's also very important, the communication part. So for a woman, but I think for everybody it's, uh, it's a very fulfilling job. Life and work balance, I think I was lucky because I like to do many things outside work and I think uh, here I managed to do so with friends or with activities that I like to do. Also ISA provides uh, these uh, clubs that you can uh, really participate. For example, I'm singing in the choir that we recently have created here at ESTEC and all these things are, uh, yeah, I think very lively. You don't have to have obstacles because you are a woman and here in ISA I think we don't absolutely have it. I mean you say you are pregnant people is happy they don't say like oh my god now you will yeah. go away yeah. and uh, we, you won't work for months but they actually congratulate you and then they arrange things such that you can take your leave and then come back and this is also very important. Well this work is fascinating because and it's rewarding because what you are doing is then shows and uh, let's take Rosetta as an example. Let's look at where it went and what, what it managed to do and you can be part of it. Mm -hmm.